Hello Internet, my name is Ace and today I'm going to be doing a book review of facial expressions. So this book does exactly what it says in the title. It's a collection of facial expressions of young adults all the way to the elderly. Now it starts with a nice school reference, which is really nice actually, and then goes through, has a muscle reference, and then we start with 20 year olds, I think, and work our way through the ages. Now, this book has its pros and its cons. It's one I've definitely used a lot in the past for studying caricature and things like that. It's great for having just a bunch of, like, well, different people, different expressions, obviously, and trying to capture those things, push those things, caricature them, and just make them look great. So the thing that is the a potential downside is the fact that everything is just in black and white values. But to me, that's actually a positive because you get to really just focus, like I say, on the values, and f you, you're not you're not worrying about color and things like that. You're on saturation, all all that stuff. You're just worrying about the actual features and. Another thing that can be a plus and a minus is the actual size. I think the images are about just about maybe two and a half inches by two inches. And again, that can be a plus and a minus. If, you, if you're just trying to get used to caricaturing or portraiture, it's great because it stops you from focusing on details and things like that and just worrying about the, the bigger picture. But if you wanted to do a highly detailed rendered drawing from this, probably not ideal. Now, another thing that's a slight downfall for me is that the photography is not perfect. There's quite a few photos where they're slightly out of focus and things like that, and the, the quality varies slightly, but that's just a little down, down mark really to the actual potential that this book can give you as just having a basic compendium of different people, different genders, different races, all just within one nice little book that you can reference and basically just get drawing, which is what art is about at the end of the day. Now, at the back, they have a, a collection of hats, and for a book called The Facial Expressions, there is an astronaut in full astronaut um, clothing. Who knows what his facial expression is, but it's nice that things like that are in there. So this book, like I say, it's got its pluses, it's got its minuses, but I've definitely used this book hundred, maybe hundreds of times. I've like, I've, I've drawn from it loads and loads when I was, especially when I was practicing for live caricature and things like that. I would just, I would just r refer to this book constantly, open it at a random page, pick a random expression, just draw. I think that's what this book is supposed to be used for, that and animation study as well. So if you want to pick up this book, then there are various links to the different Amazon stores around the globe in the description down below. If you use those links, I do get a small kickback from the purchase. It doesn't cost you any extra or anything like that, but I actually get a little kickback. Helps just continue this channel going forward and helps it to grow. Okay, so if you've got any book recommendations you want me to cover in the future, or if you've got any questions or anything like that about this book, then leave them down in the comments down below. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, all of that stuff. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome, awesome week. And I'll see you later. Bye bye. If you want to support me and in turn grab some awesome goodies for yourself, such as alien extra videos and Google Hangouts with me from as little as a dollar a month, head on over to patreon.com slash aceconnell. I'll see you there.